Russia has begun its 2023 chairmanship of the Eurasian Economic Union as the trade bloc faces increasing potential for expansion and development. Let's see the following report. Integration is the key to development. The Eurasian Economic Union provides unique opportunities for its member states. The key to further economic growth is the reduction of existing barriers and the stimulation of investment. This was discussed by the participants in a roundtable on the development of the EAEU. It was held in Moscow. If we are talking about the investment activities, there are indeed state investment. They are easier to deal with. They are discussed at interstate meeting of the EAEU and there are private investments and in order to influence the nature of investment, their direction, it is necessary to create certain investment incentives. Growth is about 10% over 2022. The volume of trade within the EAEU is breaking records. According to the Eurasian Development Bank, it has exceeded $80 billion. The authors of the development of the EAEU 2022 plus strategic challenges and demands of time report devoted their study to the results and prospects of the bloc's development. The presentation of the work was part of the meeting. The authors of the report managed to identify clearly enough the main properties of the EAEU development, taking into account internal and external aspects of the organization's development. The problems that currently exist have been outlined. Those are challenges that are currently facing the organization. These include integrating financial systems and strengthening industrial cooperation. The authors of the report paid special attention to the social aspects of cooperation within the EAEU. They studied the attitudes of residents to a variety of problems in the development of bilateral relations within the bloc. Part of the discussion was devoted to the interaction of the EAEU countries with the BRICS and other associations. There is a model such as BRICS Plus i.e., through the BRICS members, it is possible to reach entire continents. Through Brazil, you can intensify your trade and economic relations with large numbers of partners in Latin America. Similarly, it is also possible to enter African markets through South Africa. Esper, experts, researchers, lecturers, postgraduates, and students from leading Russian universities also participated in the roundtable. I like the way the experts assessed the prospect for the E. IEU in the first stable future until 2030, 2045. It was also interesting to hear about the problems because often they are mentioned rather superficially. There was a fuel analysis here. The roundtable was organized by the Russian International Affairs Council. Its experts regularly carried out scientific research. For instance, every year they present an analysis of the development of Russian-Chinese relations. They also implement joint projects with partners of the PRC, India and other countries.